this. You dirty rat. You're the guy that shot my brother, and I'm the guy that's gonna shoot you. You dirty rat. You're the guy that shot my brother. I'm the guy that's gonna shoot you. Every god there ain't one of you. <laughs> hey, yo, Murdoch. You're the guy that shot my brother, right? And I'm the guy that's gonna shoot you, eh? All right. Of all the gin joints and all the cities and all the world, you've got to waltz into my place and shoot my brother. Play it, Sam. The piano will cover up the shot. Well, you dirty rat. You're the guy that shot my brother. And I'm the guy that's gonna shoot you. Well, you're the dirty, scum-sucking pig dog that shot my brother. And I'm the man who's going to destroy you. But I'm just that kind of guy. The way they run this institution is an outrage. For a poor, tired, old, lonely woman like me. Her only son a felon, though not a terribly successful one. Young man. Young man. Young man. Could you please open that gate? I left my car running outside. Ma'am, can you tell me how you got to this gate? The visitor's area is on the other side of the prison. I brought him up as best I could. But sometimes a bad seed falls from even the most fragile flower. Ma'am, you're not going through this gate. Is this the way you treat your mother? Is this the kind of abuse that poor woman must endure? Well, I guess my mother is a little bit mad at... Mm-hmm. You ought to be in the slammer with the rest of these misfits. If you had any remorse at all for the horror you put your own mother through, you'd open that gate. I have a car overheating as we speak. Okay, okay. All right, let's open the east gate. There, now are you satisfied? I'll tell your mother how her son has improved despite his shaded and somewhat checkered past. The doctor told me I don't... These steps might as well be Mount Everest. Well, when he said that, I was just shocked. Hold on a second, hon. Superior Talent Incorporated, Marty Brock... Is my second-born son without a sliver of gratitude, who wouldn't even pick up his own mother at the airport. I'm only glad his father never lived to see the day when his son would treat his own mother this way. Me, a lonely old woman forced to cope in a world of indifference. Hold on just a minute. Where is he? Where is Martin? I need him to help me with my will. Having walked from the airport, I'll be dead soon. I don't know what to do. He's with a client. That's life for you. You have two sons, one good, one bad. And wouldn't you know it with my luck? The good one dies. But, Mrs. Brock, I I'm sure he didn't know you were coming. Don't side with him, honey. There's no future in it. Just tell me. Tell me how to run my... Hell no. I'm Chief Spanks. How can I help you? Clement here. Asta Clement. I'm with the Governor's State Correctional Institutional Prisoner Fair Treatment Task Force. And this is the Governor's niece, Mendy. <laughs> Mendy's writing a school paper on how government really works. How oh, nice. This is a surprise inspection, Chief. <laughs> now, wait just a minute. Do you need an education to be Chief, or can just anybody do it? We had to fight our way through an army of TV cameramen just to get in here. Now, look here. I don't know what... Is that S-P-I-N-K-S or S-P-E-N-K-S? Now, look, I don't I know... I can't what... tell you what a pet project this is of Governor Ellington's. <laughs> TV cameramen, are we communicating here? <laughs> Were you elected into office, or did you just buy your way in? Isn't she a doll? <laughs> Be sure and take copious notes in there and watch that vending machine. Mr. Santos, how have you been treated since you've been here? My name is Santa Claus. Excuse me? Santa Claus. <laughs> Did he say Santa Claus? I think so. 
My good man, you are not Santa Claus. I tell you, I am. Oh, no. I am too. Oh, no. I am too. Oh, no. I am too, and you know it. This man thinks he is Santa Claus, and you keep him in a cell with regular, ordinary, everyday, harmless criminals? Excuse me, but he really is Santa Claus. Yeah, that's right. You see that infectious insanity? This man needs to be isolated. Are you getting it? Uncle Herbert will be shocked. Maybe it's uh, some kind of a mistake, a, a clerical error. Is this the way government really works? Look at those beady, twinkling eyes, those merry cheeks. And I'll bet when he laughs, he shakes like a bowl full of jelly. You two in confidence, call my office and tell them that I'm taking this poor menace to society to the padded party room. I hate for you to have to see this, my dear. I hate for Uncle Herbert to have to see this. Oh, don't tell him. The governor would make a throw rug out of this man's chest hair. <laughs> Move it, Pops. Hey, see you, Santa. Take it easy, Santa. Yeah, buddy, take it light. Can we still get that ice cream? Of course we can, my dear. See you next year. None for him. Okay, what's in the truck? Is this where the horror movie hope me? What? I got a truckload of snakes <laughs> for them horror movie folk. Well, I better take a look. Careful now. They be poison. Poison snakes. One minute, you're a big, strapping, healthy man. And the next, now, you said meat, meat sick. I better check it out. Careful now. They'll knot up on you. Them poison snakes will do that. You gotta be more round. <laughs> they get knotted up on you like that, you get real crazy. Especially on a day like today when it's real hot. You want one for you, boy? I gave one to my boy last year. No, no, oh, that's all right. Oh, just, baby. just take the truck on over to stage five. Now, curl up for me. Let me hide. That's all these movie people want. Pardon. Hey, you. Uh, yeah. This your truck? Uh, yep. You the snake guy, huh? Yeah. Okay, boys. Bring them on over here. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll count them later. Don't worry, kid. We got the high ground. Did you hear something? Boy, I sure. We came. We saw. We took the high ground. Even though some of us are very tired. Trolls, is it? Oh, look, they're using those hook things. Where's my machine gun? Where's my little machine gun? We were looking for a good scrap when we found this one. Now, chin up. Every man jack of you. A little nasal hygiene would go a long way, young man. Here you go. I hope you're grateful. Little trolls in China don't even get milk. Hairspray will fix anything. Only a few more to go. Load it up. You sure this will stop them trolls? They look awful god darn fish to me. Anybody can whip a troll. Eat lactose slime ball. <laughs> you better like uh, a little bit of this milk punch. I'm sorry, men, but the dropper is the only way. The doomsday dropper? Oh, no, not that. Is there no mercy? I like it. A woman's work is never done. I guess I'll have to finish this myself. A whole troll army wiped out, and they leave the last two for me. Victory? 
is ours. We'll never be hungry again. 